Greetings Gemini, I am going to be doing your reading. Before I get started, however, just want to start out with a few housekeeping items. Um, I'm not sure what my uploading schedule will be for the month of February. I may return to weekly uploads, um, but as far as tarot is going, um, I'm, I'm loving it, I'm enjoying it, but I have a lot going on outside um, of tarot at this time. I will keep you updated. It could turn into bi-monthly during the month of February, depending on my schedule, which I'm currently figuring out. Um, but I want to take a second to say thank you so much to all the new subscribers. We're up to 140. This is amazing. Um, I can't believe how fast this channel has grown. This is amazing. I'm just, I have to say I really enjoy reading tarot and I wish I had more time. Um, but I'm, I'm doing my best to balance everything. Um, and I also wanted to make sure that everybody knows that I'm doing a pre- pre-shuffle now before I uh, record in order to uh, save all the headphone users out there. So we will get started with your reading. A lot of cup energy. All right. Very cool. Um, currently you have the Magician, the Knight of Pentacles, as well as the Two of Cups, which honestly I kind of... I feel like this represents your energy because it's very similar to the Lover's card, and the Lover's card does represent Gemini, so. Um, at this time, you could be seeking the emotional fulfillment with someone at this time. Um, they may have water in their chart. They could have Leo in their chart because of the lion here. Um, but it seems like you really are wanting that partnership with someone that is on a deeper level. In the past, however, I see that you could have been abandoned or left out in the cold by someone, a partner. Um, it could have been someone with water in their chart or Earth. could have been Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, however, I think at this time you are feeling quite emotionally fulfilled, and I'm not sure if that's because you're you know, currently in a relationship that makes you feel that way, or you're on your own, you're doing your own healing. Um, however, we have the Nine of Cups here, which, it, interestingly enough, uh, represents wishes coming true, kind of similar to the star card, abundance, and also good health. So at this time, you could be feeling quite on top of your game. Um, vitality is strong. Others are noticing that they're wanting to be around you at this time. You could have a lot of communication going on between others. Um, you're also able to manifest what you would like. And I see that here with the Magician card, Major Arcana. Um, you are feeling quite focused and creative, so what you put into something will certainly be um, received. So at this time, you may be really working hard. Um, you may be putting in a lot of time at work, and you're being recognized for that. You could have um, an extra bonus coming in, um, a promotion possibly. You could also be working or collaborating with someone who has Earth in their chart. They could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But I do see that you're able to manifest what it is that you are putting your time and energy and effort into, which is really abundant and prosperous to go along with the Nine of Cups card. So emotionally, you're in a great place. Financially, it seems like you're in a really great place too. I'm going to go ahead and pull a few cards to just go ahead and clarify the reading a little bit further. Um, a little bit similar here to the Taurus read, we have the Hanged Man. Um, this represents Pisces. This actually represents taking your time with something. Um, so instead of rushing forward and jumping into a relationship or, or taking things up a notch in your current relationship, you could be kind of withholding that energy a little bit and wanting to really just sit with your feelings, sit with your thoughts, um, sit with how it makes you feel and where you see yourself moving forward, but that, that can also certainly apply to your um, current work set, um, setting. Um, to clarify the two cards that popped out earlier, the, I want to call them the sad cards, um, just really low vibrational energy, kind of feeling stuck. You have the two of swords here, which this card is... Mm, Mental entrapment. So sword energy is air energy. You are an air sign, Gemini. Um, this is definitely you in the past. Feeling like you couldn't really get over something, someone, and wanting to get out of that awful um, mental state. But like I said, I think that you have, you have come to it with the Nine of Cups. Um, you could have had a lot of opportunities in front of you that made you feel 
a little bit stuck, similar to Taurus here, um, with the Seven of Cups, meaning that you have a lot of choices and opportunities, but you don't know necessarily which direction or path you want to take, and that's because you have the, the snake here, you have the, the laurel leaf, you have the, the reward, but you don't know which which path to take, and I see that you're interested in the one that, that leads to that emotional fulfillment, and I think that you will get there, Gemini. Um, King of Swords is coming out to clarify this represents your energy. Um, I'm feeling that this is your energy, strong air energy. Um, someone who doesn't really put up with a lot of things. You have healthy boundaries with others. You're able to communicate your thoughts on a very clear level. And I think others are picking up on that. And they're able to see that you're in it um, for the right reasons. And because you, you expect that in return... Um, but like I said, I, I think that, you know, communication is obviously, it's really good with others at this time, but however, at work, maybe you're taking it a little bit, um, slowly with this, um, new project that you're trying to manifest or see, um, you know, turn into something more abundant. And I think that's actually, that's a positive. So Gemini, I would say that you're on the right track here. I would say that you need to just be mindful of the fact that you, had the maybe negative thought patterns in your past, you know, we're, we're talking here about mental restriction, um, feeling like you're left out in the cold, abandoned. Um, however, turning a new leaf here with the, the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is interesting because it kind of does represent leaving behind old, old habits, old routines, and old thought patterns. So I see that as a positive for you. You're leaving behind this, this entrapment and moving on towards more emotional fulfillment you have a lot of decisions to make i see that um but you're willing you're willing to weigh your options with the king of swords energy and i think that ultimately it will lead to emotional fulfillment and abundance so um that's all we have for you right now um i hope that you enjoyed this reading gemini and again thank you so much for all the love and support i hope you're having a great week and i will see you next time